Whoever has a God worth serving, come down here and face me if your God is so powerful. And as David approaches and watches the scene, he, he sees, he says to his own brothers, why doesn't somebody go down there and challenge that man? He's not only ridiculing us, he's ridiculing our God. And his brothers declare to them, you so big and bad, you go down there. <laughs> and the Bible tells about how this, this teenager goes down and takes three smooth five smooth stones and he throws a stone and kills this great giant. And many of us talk about David in the light of David and the Goliath and that's how we'll call our memory of this great man. Some know of David because of his songs. He's this great song to who wrote all these beautiful songs. He, he was the Michael Jackson of his day. He didn't say he it, amen, but he did, he did do great songs and, and the songs of his day that he wrote were words that live on forever inside of our hearts. And for many, David is known for all the beautiful songs, the 23rd Psalm and all the songs that he's written still echo inside of our hearts. For others, David is known as a great king, one of the greatest kings that ever lived over Israel, a man who had the kind of power and authority that did powerful things. And, and people know how he conquered all the lands of his nation. What a great, powerful leader he was, a great warrior he was. David was also known not just for killing off giants, but also for just killing off a whole lot of folk. Because they sang songs about David, and the song they sang was, Saul has killed his thousands, but David has killed his ten thousand. So he's known for being a man of, 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 of killing, a man who's known for, matter of fact, David didn't just kill, David could dance, Amen. I don't think he did a moonwalk, but David, David actually, the Bible talks about how David danced throughout the city in honor and praise to God. He was a man in scripture who's, who's known for, what, for, for, the, for the greatness of his songs and, and known for being a great fighter. He's known for being a man who actually, a boy, as a boy, he fought and killed a lion. And as a boy, he also killed a, a bear. And he's known for being a great general and a great warrior. But how does God speak of David? It's one thing when you talk about what folks say about you. Some of y'all have to learn, I don't know about you, but many of us uh, were raised inside a household where your parents taught you how to act in public. Amen. A lot of y'all look really, uh, y'all look holy and y'all look so spiritual minded. Uh, Y'all dress look, y'all look, you know, you were taught how to, some of you, when your kids were younger, you, you had to teach them, no, when you, when you, they came to service, some of y'all have seen, we've had a couple of families who had to, at times, at pivotal moments in the worship service, had to invite their child for visitation to the hallway, and, uh, uh, I recall, I think, I, I kind of care as if I was at a service, I thought of my oldest son, that uh, got in trouble in the service, and, and he was being carried out by his mother, and he, he shouted out, uh, y'all pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> but many of you have been inside of a worship service or been at a store or some, some place and you had a child there who began to act up. Yeah. And, and I've seen some of y'all get that, that grip. <laughs> and that pinching grip. Yeah. And, and with a smile on your face because you know how to act in public. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't act right. I'm going to snatch you out of this building. I'm going to beat you half to death. Better act right. You get no part. <laughs> you have been taught how to act in public. And so, so we all can have some good things to say about you. Because you learn how to have a good public image. We do, a, we do a workshop on relationships, and, and we talk about relationships. We often talk about the three levels of marriage functions on them. That a marriage has a, a public level, a, a family level, and an inner level. We identify that your public level is the part that everybody can see. It's how y'all showed up here on Sunday. You might have been on the way here. Many a couple got ready to leave to come to worship on this morning, and y'all got into the car to head this way. Your wife uh, began, the husband kicked right in. We got to stop by the store for stockings again. We need stockings every Sunday. We need stockings. Why do we get stockings? Once you got, once you buy about a fifty stockings, and just keep it in the house. Why every Sunday we gotta stop by the store and get some stockings? It don't make any kind of sense. Every we went late again. I told the brothers I was gonna be there. I should be there ahead of time. But no, I'm late again because you gotta stop and get some stockings. And she sit on the crowd across the seats and 
told you, get your tired stuff up, but no, you got to stay up late watching the game and watching TV. You should have gone to bed. You know I need a stocking. Should have got up early. So all the way to service, y'all got a good, strong, vibrant argument. <laughs> and as you pulling up toward the parking lot, you're pulling to the building, you finally get that crescendo in your good conversation. You know, I'm just sick of you making me late all the time, and you got to have an attitude about, well, I'm sick of you not going to bed and not being mad enough to know how to get up in time to be so you can make it to work on time. Don't be brag blaming me because you ain't making the service on time. So y'all had that wonderful discussion, arguing, complaining, and you pull to the parking lot, and I'm just sick of you, and I'm sick of you. Hey! I'll be up there, brother, man. You've been messing by me. I'm sitting in front of all the girls. I ain't like That's your brother, brother. I woke up beside you, folks. Look at y'all. I said, that's such a beautiful girl. I got to get along like that. That's called your public love. The next level call, actually, is your family love. So your family level consists of, you can have a good, and when couples got a public level problem, I had a, had a couple of counsel with many years ago to North Carolina, and anybody you know here. Uh, and actually, they were, they were one of the kids, he called me up and was in the place, little Brother Hubbard, you know, she got angry with me, she went outside, she broke the windows out the car, she started stabbing the tire. That's public level trouble. The next level is called the family level. On family level, what you actually have is that you can have a good public level, which means that you come to service, folk look at y'all, y'all are a beautiful couple, and your kids know y'all don't get along. Your children on inside the household that you guys look good on the outside, but your kids know last night he grabbed their juice, I thought she was going to kill her. <laughs> they got separate bedrooms, they don't talk. Only time you see them together is on Sunday when they ride down here and ride back home. Your kids get it, so people, you hold to, to your children and tell your kids, I, I, I love your mom and dad. They got the most, the most precious relationship. They've been married all these years. They got the most precious relationship, and your kids look at like, who's there what you talking about? <laughs> That's a family level. We identify the deepest level of a relationship. It's called the inner level. So the inner level consists of the things you say to yourself about that relationship. In the inner level, you have to be careful because inside your inner level, sometimes there are women who are a man, and that's, that's why men get shot. You come home and she packed up and left. Well, what happened, man? What happened? You didn't know about her inner level. The inner level consists of the things you say to yourself about that relationship. So if you're in a relationship, uh, men need to understand what she's saying. <clears throat> now, I told them I don't like that. You keep on doing it. I'm about to do it here. That's your inner level. 